called the cat's whiskers. This is a lure which represents the fray of trout, perch or roach and it's used widely for fishing in both the rainbow trout fisheries and on the wild lakes. We start this fly again in the usual manner, about the eighth of an inch behind the hook eye and again we wind the tan suck in close even turns right down to the bend of the fly. We let the tan suck out just bit by bit as we go down and again this forms a good foundation. Now when you get to a position just again at the at the bend of the hook we take a piece of turkey marabou feather. Now this is a very soft mobile feather and it's been used increasingly in fly dressing because of its mobility and it's very effective both as a winging material and for tying in tails. So we take a piece of uh, turkey marabou and again take a piece maybe about uh, I would say about quarter to half an inch and just tear it off the stalk like that. This is used for the tail and basically all we do is we just hold it up. Again the length of the tail you can that's just left to yourself. You can do it you know do it whatever you want. You can make it the length of the body of the uh, of the fly or the length of the hook shank or slightly shorter. Set the turkey marabou up like that at the bend and then just take a couple again of easy turns round the, the marabou fibres like that. A couple of easy turns holds them in place then hold on to the tail as you tighten up like that. Okay so that's the tail of the fly. If the, if the tail of the fly is slightly uneven what you can do is just pinch the fibres with your hand. Don't cut them but just pinch them with your fingers and that keeps sort of a nice taper to the, to the fibres. At that stage what I do is just cut off some of the loose fibres like that and then cover over the waist ends like that. Now that's the first stage that tail's tied in. Now the next thing we do is we take a piece of oval, oval silver, cut off again a piece of about maybe four, three to four inches and again we tie this in in the usual manner. Tie it in just behind the hook shank like that with an easy turn of tan silk. One, say two, three turns and then we can tighten up a bit like that. But I like to just bind that tinsel down up about the length of the fly body and that just trying, it helps to keep the body of the fly as even as possible by just bringing the tinsel maybe slightly up a bit like that. Our ribs tied in and the next uh, material we tie in is some uh, fritz material. This is a sort of like a shiny chenille with sort of pieces of uh, pearl through it and it's very effective for fry, uh, fry bodied uh, fry, fry bodies and the bodies of, of certain lures. With the fritz what we do is we strip off some of the fibre to leave a core, a central core here. And what we do is we tie the core in like that and what that does is it prevents a lot of bulk at the at the back of the fly. So we just strip off again a few pieces of that to show the, the core of the fritz and then we tie the fritz in again just at the back like that. Again a couple of easy turns like that and then tighten up on the tie and suck. Come forward like that and come right up again to a position again about an eighth of an inch behind the hook eye. Now we take the fritz and we wind it to form the body of the fry and as we wind it like that what I like to do is just pull the fibres back <coughs> and that just makes them sit up. <coughs> so as you go as you take every turn really just pull the fibres of the fritz back like that as you go. Just one turn in front of the other. Right on up. Right up again to a position about, as I say, about finish that about an eighth of an inch behind the hook eye. 
And with uh, with um, lures like this, you, it, it, the head on the fly can be that bit bigger because it can imitate the head of the fry and it's not as essential to make a small head on a lure. So we tie in the fritz with again three turns at the back, three turns at the front, and then snip off the fritz like that. Okay, now just bind down over some of the loose ends and we can cut off some of the loose fibres like that. Now we take the silver rib and again we just rib the fly similarly to most other flies. Try and keep the spaces between the turns of the rib as even as possible and again it goes through the fritz fairly well. Just keep the, the keep a tautness on the on the rib like that and that helps it go through it without biting down the turns of of uh, biting down the fritz body. Take the oval silver right up to just behind the hook eye and again tie it in three turns at the back and three turns at the front. Cut off the oval silver like that. Now at this stage what you can do is just flatten the oval silver your nail and again bind down any waste or loose ends like that. Now we're coming to the final uh, part of the fly and again we use the turkey marabou feather to form the wing and at this stage some of the shorter fibres at the base I would just uh, tear off like that and we use some of the longer uh, marabou for the wing. So again on this I would tear off maybe about uh, an inch of marabou feather like that. Hold it up on top of the hook shank like that and again your wing should probably extend maybe not to the end of the tail but somewhere maybe between the, the bend of the hook shank and, and that. That's, again that's down to personal preference. Hold the turkey marabou up like that Take a couple of easy turns round the front like that. That just sort of holds the wing in place. Now see that it's sort of sitting straight down over the hook shank like that and then tighten up a bit with a couple of more tight turns like that. Now lift the butts of the marabou like that and just snip them off like that. bind down the ends of the marabou feathers to form the head. Again, on a lure, it's not as essential that the head on the fly is small because what you can do is you can build a lure up and put on uh, small painted eyes and uh, finishes like that. So actually the head on the lure, because it's representing a small fish, it's not as essential that it's very tiny and neat. Don't be too worried if it, if it uh, gets uh, a bit big. We then come to the final stage and that's putting the knot on the fly and again finish in the usual manner. Let's say three half hitches like that. And you just cut off the tie hook and there you have a cat's whiskers. And the beauty of this fly is then once you've learned to tie that fly by using different coloured fritzes and uh, different colours of turkey marabou, you can tie literally hundreds of patterns.